Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play <laughs> BattleTech. I already wanted to say Warm for Decay and Crystal Tomato. Now, um, to BattleTech, and we are going to do the next priority mission called the First Strike. And we have, I guess, a travel time of 32 days, which is alright, because in the off, I did some refitting of our Mech Warrior, so that's actually quite good. Travel to Voldry, I hope that pronounced right, to carry out our first major operation against the Directorate. We'll brief you more fully when we arrive. And prepare yourself, Commander. After this drop, we will be at war. Welcome to the Big Leagues, Commander. After we pull the trick on this one, everyone is gonna um, everything is gonna change for us, for Lady Arano, hell for the whole Oregon Reach. Alright. We will um, travel there anyhow and then hopefully find out what is going to happen. As you can see, our refitting is working here. Our Centurion is um, ready, so we may try to actually use him in the next episode. Um, instead of the um, small run that we could try out, actually. Um, I'm... Maybe I'm going to take a quick look in the refitting screen because I think we still have a couple of days to travel. Let us take 19 days, so let us actually go to the Leopard, um, to the barracks, to the Mac Warrior. No, ah, here I actually did something. I um, did some skill treeing. I um, I was wondering why these guys didn't have multi-targeting because I didn't um, invest in the skill points. So there we are actually. Um, but we wanted to get into the mech bay and take a quick look at this guy and what is his problem. Let us see. Is it somewhere actually? Um, can you take a look what the problem actually is? Um, refit to free few warnings. All right, um, refit, and there we are. The tutorial. Okay, I don't want to do that right now. Hard points, equipment, blah blah. That I do not want to have. Okay, there are the problems. This mech has unused sonage. All right, quite heavy. The mech mounts one or more weapons that require ammo. And the mech is carrying ammo that it cannot use. Alright, then we will fix that right now. And let us actually, let us actually, there we for have, we have, you know, still to nash at our disposal. I would like to mount that. Anyhow, okay, then I guess I can only put in two lasers here. Um, Let's put these things actually out and I would like short range support weapons. Let us actually go into short range ballistic weapons. I want to have rockets and let us put in these bad boys actually. And then I guess we need some any mission SRM let's put that in that is nice and um, the AC5 I don't use so I put it off and then I actually would like to put in some more lasers but as you can see we only can fit two so I'll will put in one more MG, but I don't have any ammunition for it, don't I? The max carrying ammo that it cannot use. What kind? And this mag, one more weapon, it requires ammunition. Alright, that is good. So that's the AC2 ammo, but obviously we do not have any ammunition for the other weapon type. <laughs> so 
let <clears throat> I actually <clears throat> sorry I actually wanted to you know go on complete max out the armor so ah the AC 10 ammunition we can't use this ammunition we can't use all right now we it says we have ammunition that requires ammo so we have the AC2 that is good I put in one more AC2 just in case because we have um, tonnage ready so now it says says we have unused tonnage then I will go to equipment and put in a heatsink and another one I'll do it like that and then we compensate that and now I confirm that I know that oh that's gonna be 24 right. days I'll let you know when that's done but that is good now we solved some problems here that is very very good I think so then let's go with the time-lapse again so overall um, it will take um, 35 days Alright, that's completely, I will just leave it by that. Now, that is, I am not going to, you know, pay more money for more, you know, to have a better moral. Not right now, we can do that later. But I have um, to say, once now we get the credits for the next mission, then uh, financially it is going to be quite good for us. At least that is what I think. As I said, my plan was to use the Centurion in this mission. But I have to see whether I can or I will then still um, wait the couple of days, you know. That's the problem, you know, if you don't do anything, this you are, um, you know, technically you're losing money and we would lose a whole month. So I'm not going to do that. And we will jump right into the mission. And there we are. I guess there's going to be some sort of a briefing. We arrived at Weltry Commander ready to proceed with our current contract. Yes, we are. And that we will do right now. First strike in orbit, Weldry. Weldry, one of the most notorious hellholes in the Oregon Reach. Everything about this place is hostile to human life. And for the past three years, Espinosa has used it as a dumping ground for her political enemies. The Directorate has a prison complex on the planet's surface. The inmates call it the Icebox. The image of the imposing structure appears on your field screen. It has the solid, heavy walls that you've come to associate with the Torian architecture. All right. I'm holding... It's a holding facility for political prisoners, including high-value hostages, members of the founding family, spouses, sons and daughters. I if we liberate this prison and set them free, we break Espiona's leverage of the founding houses. The political map will change overnight. Alright, that sounds good. We don't know what the Directorate has been doing to our people in there, but we have set, we have to set them free. Not just for political gain, but because they are our people. And we need your help to do it. And the Founding lords and ladies supposed to be powerless figureheads. I need to know what I'm about to set my lands into. What makes Weldry so inhospitable? You've got an army. What do you need us for? Let's go with the second one. I think it's the most normal <laughs> answer there. Everything from the sub-zero climate to the indigible in inedible <laughs> vegetation. The whole planet is infested with blood-sucking insects. The swarms can stretch for miles. You're shitting me. <laughs> I'm afraid not. They are called Ransom Mosquitoes. I'm matching a, colo a colonial biting fly that size of your thumb. They serve as carriers of harmful bacteria. Alright. And you're dropping infantry there on purpose. Um, yes, the army will be safe. Population centers like the icebox use ultrasonics to keep the swarms away. All right, sorry there, but thank you for your concern, Mr. Return. Aren't the founding lords okay? You've got an army. What do you need us for? Let's go with that. Um, subtle, decisive 
Action. If I will lead the army in an all-out assault on the director's primary spaceport, and after I've drawn their attention, you will sneak in, attack the icebox and liberate it. We'll set my uncle's hostages free and put the founding families in our debt, all in one fell swoop. Reminds me of a lightning raid I went on for your father's military. There was a good plan too, right up until we made contact with the enemy. Understood, my lance is ready to drop. There we go. I'll remain in a radio contact with you after we hit the ground. Good hunting, Psychic. Give my uncle's troops the hell that they have earned. After the um, Directorate's presence on the planet has been crushed and the icebox has been liberated, we'll regroup to celebrate our victory. Oh, yeah. That we will do. And now, um, what do problems do we have here now? Refit a few warnings. Okay, I am not going to do that right now. I hope I can. These mechs have um, reduced performance, battle check, missing armor. The mech does not have an under undamaged AC. Alright, now there we are too late. Crap. Anyhow. That I really have to write down that I am going to fix it before the next contract, but we will do a little quick break here. Alright, here are our objectives. Fight your way to the Icebox prison camp. Destroy all Directorate forces. Liberate the Icebox zone. Direct Rift Control. We get 1,766,500,000 um, um, credits. That's really, really um, amazing. This is it. Our first strike against my uncle's Directorate. The, our first step toward justice. What I need while I lead the Restoration Army against while well, primary spaceport, you will launch a sneak attack against the icebox and liberate it. I know that you can do this, Psychic. We can do this together. Hard to believe that we are going to war against the Directorate. I don't know about you, but from my perspective, it's long overdue. I think so too, by the way. Make them pay for what they took from us. Make it hurt. All right, let's then Command get into it. Initiated. There are two entrances into the complex, Commander. Intel says that each is defended by a series of elevated turrets. I'm also seeing an LRM emplacement between the two checkpoints. Battle max defenses should be practic practical nil. As predicted, Lady Adano's preemptive strike has already drawn the prison standard garrison guard. I'm seeing heavy vehicles and turrets on my screen, nothing that you can't handle. Clear radio position and capture the prison. Lady Ranu and the Restoration Army will take care of the rest. Good hunting, Commander. And what is that? Um, and I, you know, the first thing I actually would like to do is, of course, to take down those turret generators. And I will then now sprint on. And in that, actually, have a little bit of hope that we don't. Position confirmed. Um, get into any enemies at hand. Um, it could. I Oops, don't position. know how difficult this um, mission, of course, is going to be. You know, compared with the last mission, it should be, you know, nearly um, the same difficulty, only a tiny little bit more difficult, yeah, I hope at least, but that I will then find out. So the all I care about is actually the um, I got a sensor trace. turret generators. But I This is the warden. We have an intruder alert. All combat units prepare to repel hostile. Okay, I can actually jump up here. What I will do and go. then take some shots at the turret generators. Taking the shot. All right, that was not very good, but not bad as well. If she is actually having jump packs as well, then that could be really, really amazing. Okay, wait a second, can I actually... 
let me move here and then I try to shoot up there as well. Then at least we have the first two tower um, tower generators, the first two generators of our tail. I think that is um, worth doing before the other guys, the turrets are actually shooting at us. If they are not, ah, I may have done a mistake. I think I should have um, dealt with the... Receiving you. I actually should have, yes, I should have dealt with the um, with the vehicles there, but anyhow, that's now too late. I'm on it. All right, first generator down. That is good. I hope that was even worth it. Receiving you. But now that I see that we are actually not being. Um, targeted there by the turrets. I will try to attack you know the first vehicles that we at least do something against vehicles the first turn here. Well we didn't do too too much damage but at least a tiny little bit. There seem to be many vehicles which is which could be good or not. At least they did not hit. That was the good part there. But I guess the vehicle um, reinforcements are coming in quite quick. And I hope that they... Please don't hit. Okay. Oh, 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 that was not good. Because, yeah, the rear of us is the vulnerable part there. At least we are you know, safe, a little bit safe behind the trees. That is one good part. Commander. So I'll actually move her up a tiny a little bit and then Hostile on sensors. give the turret Locking all on. I've got. Which is not much, but I think in the next round I can be sure I'll. Yeah. Or well, in this turn, actually, I can be sure to take it good out. Order. That is very good. Then these two mechs can actually focus on something else, and we can end this episode for good. Attacking from position. So first two generators are down. I can do this all day. The question is, of course, does that have any? Um, Consequences for the turrets there. It doesn't seem that way. Warning. Enemy in rear arc. So before we end, we will do a little bit of action here. And I will focus on the Baldock here because I think he's doing more damage. And not down. Come on. Ready for orders. And shoot. Maybe then I need to focus with two mechs on one. Maybe that. I don't know. But we didn't do much. All right, guys. Let us quickly see what the enemies now bring on. I have. I need to take a look how our two mechs are actually holding up here. Um, there are. Taking a little pounding here, which is not nice. So I will try out to help them out. Because I don't, you know, do you see up how the damage goes up? So, and then I go the right way. And what the hell? That was a complete luck shot there again. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. And okay, we are being fired upon by the turrets. Alright, so I guess I should move a little back, a little bit to the back, but that I will do in the next turn. He took too much damage, I think. So, for now, guys, that brings us to the end of this episode. As usual, I really thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this episode, guys, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. If you have anything to say, leave me a comment. That's always much appreciated. And well, then, I will see you, hopefully, in the next episode. 
Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.